G'day. This is a, a rad thing if you want some free phyto hormones. I hope you use organics too. But uh, see up the top the microorganisms and then it says phyto hormones. Uh, so it just shows you the different types of microbes you can get and then what the action of it does. So at the top is Bacillus species and, and some Pseudomonas and they produce IAA or indol of cystic acid. Uh, if you go to and go down actually down the bottom there's microbes that produce three types some trichoderma and some bacillus so it's you have to actually look to see the actual species that it is because um it's just most of them just show their genus uh if you go a little bit up azosbrillium that's really good for a nitro fixing nitrogen fixing bacteria and it also produces gibralic acid so that might be good for instance to use in uh, late flower if you want to bulk things up so a lot of these microbes have dual uses. They've got they do other things, well uh, like Pseudomonas florens down the bottom there, that messes are uh, that produces abscisic acid. That's good for pythium. Uh, so it's yeah, a lot of good. But anyway, I'll put this study in the description. Just say if you want to have a look yourself, and you can see how they got to all the results and all that sort of stuff. So yeah, it's pretty good. Free phytohormones for you. Happy breeding, happy growing, good health to you all. Bye-bye.